All right, y'all, we here with Dr. M.J. Colley uh, in the studio this morning. we got a lot of information. If you want to call and talk to Dr. M.J. Colley, get out us 866-9-RICKY-866-9-R-I-C-K-E-Y. You on with Dr. M.J. Colley. Good morning. Okay, well, I think I had it because I went to the doctor. I'm from Indianapolis. I went to the doctor. They put the thing up in my nose all the way to my brain, and they said that I didn't. And they said that I didn't have anything, no no symptoms or nothing. So I think I had it. Be, but when I took that Mucinex DM, I blew out everything. Okay, so that's very good that you, you had diagnostic testing. But understand, the test is only as good as the day you take the test. At the time you took the test, you could have been in the early stages of the disease process, and it, you didn't have enough of the virus, or your viral load was not big enough for your test to be converted to positive. That is why I don't hesitate to retest people if their symptoms progress. But if you start, remember what I said, even if you are positive and you start taking the treatment, the mucinex and antihistamine, a decongestant, a cough, then you're treating the symptoms anyway. And you're going to go through the process and get through it as you did. So very good job. Wow. You're on with Dr. MJ Collier. Good morning. Uh, my question is when he, he talks about, uh, what is that, omega-3 fish oil, the fish oil in a can of sardines or mackerel, when you look at that juice in there, you see oil. Is that just as good as the omega-3 fish oil? Okay, that's a great question. It is fish oil, but understand, you want a purified product that's got the highest concentration, and you need from 3,000 to 4,000 milligrams per day to obtain your heat, your your benefit from omega-3 fish oil. So uh, enjoy your sardines. Take the oil out of the can with your saltine crackers, et cetera. We all know how it's done. But, uh, you know, but take a supplement that you know exactly what you're getting and how you're being dosed. Hey, Dr. Collier, I'm not going to... Dr. Show. <laughs> Dr. Collier... Yeah. Yeah. We're not gonna we're not gonna do this with you this morning now. We, uh, we're, not trying, today. we're trying to we're trying to be nice out of the car, but every time you come on the show, it's always something. Let's go to the uh, next it's call. Peak week, Ricky. It, it's, it's peak week and we're getting through it. <laughs> yes, sir. Everybody relax. You are on with Dr. MJ Collier. Good morning. Oh uh, yes, um I'm a, a sanitation worker and I just wanted to um know since I well, I really don't get out of my, my um, vehicle, but the guys that I do work with that ride on the back and they're touching all these different bags and everything, I want to know, was it possible if they could get that coronavirus through doing trash or anything like that? Um, chances are unlikely, but it can live on those types of surfaces. But uh, at this time of the year, it's pretty warm outside, and the virus probably isn't that viable. But remember having that team that close together. Now, the driver usually uh, – does interact with the other guys that are on the sanitation truck. So you, you, there's a possible exposure if you don't maintain your social distancing. But remember, uh, just because you're in the truck doesn't mean you should not be wearing a mask. You definitely need to wear eye protection to protect you and maintain your social distancing and make sure that, they're, that you're wearing gloves and they're wearing gloves and that they're changing the gloves on a regular basis uh, so, to get through your day. An essential, so, essential so, job. So, so, Dr. Collie, if they riding in the truck together, should they ride with the windows up or down? You know, because they air conditioned circulating air inside of the truck, or should they ride with the windows down? You know, uh, it, uh, I don't know. That's I'm a just, very good question. No, we want, we want the air moving. We want fresh air uh, within there. It's unlike, say, the circulating air in an aircraft. You want to have the air. So opening the windows up and allowing fresh air to circulate will move the virus out and decrease the concentration of viral particles if there are some inside that vehicle. Yes. So definitely uh, riding with the windows down. That is a great point, Ricky. I'm so glad that you brought that up. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that. I was like, man, because if, if cause it's, I, I see people out there right now, and if you are out there working, and people are out there working, if you're working in a truck together, you know, it's not freezing outside. So the best thing to do is keep your windows rolled down where the, uh, the air won't circulate. So if somebody is sick, that air is not being uh, sick. Because if air is being circulated, even if you got a mask on, you know, you, it, it's still risk because you're in a closed environment because that same air going to circulate again until the, it, it eventually gets in. Am, am I am I on? You're absolutely correct. Until it concentrates the virus particles to a point where it probably can and will have a higher chance of infecting you versus if, if it's blowing out and it's continuous fresh air. And, and, and that's, uh, you know, where we are with that. So, yeah, we definitely want to, if you, you're in a group situation inside a vehicle and you can let the windows down, then please do. And, uh, you know, try to still maintain as, as much social distancing as you can. In other words, you don't need three people on one seat, a bench seat. Uh, you know, you put one person in the front, if there is a back, and they have an opportunity to separate, then you should do so. Man, I'll be riding on the back. Even if you're in the car, so if you're riding and, and there's a lot of people in the car, just roll the windows down. Yeah, uh, uh. 
I know you want to turn the AC on, so if y'all ride to the grocery store or whatever, you know, just roll the windows down. Dr. Collie, that's some really good information. Let everybody know how you can be reached. Okay, all social media, you can get me at Ask a Dr. MJ with three quick points I want you to do to protect yourself. One, get some sleep. Rest can boost your immune system. is one of the most effective ways to prepare your body to fight infection. Two, don't intentionally infect yourself. Seriously, there are people participating in coronavirus parties where they try to catch the virus on purpose, hoping that they can become immune to it. This is what? not a good idea. This is not a good idea. They're trying to get herd immunity. And, you know, young people come up with some things, and that's one of the things that's being pushed on social media. And then stop smoking and stop vaping. You're not going to like this. Uh, Smoking tobacco and marijuana. (laughs) Smoking tobacco and marijuana damages the lung tissues where the virus does its harm. So this is a good time to stop smoking if you smoke. So if, if, you, if you feel the need for some supplementation, use some CBD oil or some edibles or something to that nature. But smoking the marijuana, because it's smoke, it does damage to the lung tissue on a cellular level, and it can uh, enhance your ability to catch the virus. So wow. get some sleep. Don't intentionally infect yourself. Stop smoking and thinking. You can reach Dr. Kyle on Ask Dr. MJ on all social media. And, Ricky, we will talk to you on Monday. We are out of peak week. We survived, my friend. <laughs> Hey, Dr. Collie, uh, hold on, y'all. Dr. Collie, I really appreciate that.